All right, Brenda, before you go, we want to ask you about another case that's coming out. Uh, we've gotten some new de details in a disturbing story out of Maryland. A woman who was found pushing her dead toddler in a playground swing for uh, more than 40 hours last year will not face any prison time. A judge decided that 25-year-old Ramesha Sims was not criminally responsible for her son's death because she was suffering from schizophrenia and was not on medication at the time. Police say the three-year-old died from dehydration and hypothermia. And under the plea agreement, uh, Sims must see a psychiatrist and take medication. What are your thoughts on this ruling? No jail time. It's a heartbreaking story. I, 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 and we have to remember that there is a dead child, but we also have to remember what a crime is and what our criminal justice system is all about, which is it's about intent. You have to intend to commit a crime. You have to knowingly commit a crime. You have to know what you're doing. If you don't have that knowledge, if you don't have that intent, how can you be found guilty of a crime no matter how heinous it is? So mm. therefore, if it is shown that I cannot understand and appreciate the nature and the consequences of my actions, if I cannot tell the difference between right and wrong, I cannot be held criminally responsible, no matter how horrifying it is. And in this particular instance, look, take a look at what was happening after the fact. I would respectfully submit to you that swinging a dead child in a swing for 40 hours, uh. that in and of itself gets you pretty well down the road that this woman did not have a clue as to what she was doing. So whether we like it or not, without that knowledge, without that intent, she is not criminally responsible and the right thing was done. Well, have you ever seen a case like this? And if so, what could a defense attorney have done to convince the court to go in the other direction? It is extraordinarily difficult. What it often comes down to is a battle of experts. You're going to have a doctor examine your client, and the doctor, assuming that the doctor is in your camp, is going to say, look, I've examined this woman. I performed a number of tests on her. This is what I believe that she was suffering from at the time. This is my diagnosis in terms of what she was suffering from at the time. And as a result, she could not understand the difference between right and wrong. She could not appreciate the nature of what she was doing, the consequences of her actions, and therefore she's not guilty by reason of insanity. The prosecution will have their own expert who will say, I examined her, and you know something? She knew exactly what she was doing. She was okay. She may not be perfect. She may have issues, but she sure as hell knew that what she was doing was wrong. Randy, I could talk to you all day long and never get tired of listening to you. I'm, I'm free till about <laughs> You're six. You're free till about six, all right? Thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you very you. much. Thanks for coming in.